Thank you very much. <clears throat> thank you very much. Um, I want to thank especially, here's Mary Ann Glendon. Come here. That's the way we do it, these things around here. Well, you just come here, and that's part of your welcome. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Yeah, wonderful introduction, wonderful comments. Wonderful, thank you very much. Thank I'm you. Thank you, love thank Boston. You. I think she's going to Boston. I think she's going to see the Pope, and I can't wait to see her remarks about the Pope. Thank you very much. Remember that. I want to also thank John Shattuck, who's been our president for over 15 years uh, and has been uh, enormously grateful for all of the remarks that have come here tonight, to Paul Kirk and to everyone here at the library who has worked in the evening. I am very grateful, very proud to be with all of you tonight. Most people believe that I've spent my whole life <coughs> really interested in only one thing. And that one thing is working to make the world a better place for people with intellectual disabilities. That has been a huge part of our life. It has inspired one to work on research when I was young, to create sports camp, Olympics, and other programs, and to join with other children and their many causes, and to ask political leaders to make more comments about health, welfare to all of the people. But as important as it has been, it is not the whole story of my life. My life is about being lucky as a child, to be raised by parents who loved me and made me believe in possibilities. It is also <clears throat> about being lucky to have had these extraordinary children. I think you've met them all here tonight. <laughs> Jimmy, Marcy, Maria, Bobby. And they are my friends in my work and in my life every time. It is also about being especially lucky to have a wonderful husband, about five extraordinary children, to see them marry extraordinary wives and a husband, and to play games with 17 extra grandchildren. This also has been my life. But in a strange way, perhaps my life also includes being lucky in the adversity I encountered. I am lucky that I experienced the sting of rejection as a woman who was told that the real power was not for me. I am lucky that I saw my mother and my sister Rosemary treated with unbearable rejection. I am lucky that I've had to confront political and social injustice around the world throughout our career. You might say, why are we lucky to have such a different, difficult experiences? And my, the answer is simple. The combination of the love of my family and this awful sting of rejection helped me to develop the confidence <clears throat> that I needed to believe that I could make a difference in a po positive uh, direction. You will not be surprised to know that I believe that those same qualities were also the experience that shaped President Kennedy. Truthfully, I believe Rosemary's rejection <clears throat> had far more to go with the brilliance of his presidency than anyone can understand. Yes, he was our country's greatest champion <clears throat> of what we all call mental retardation. To this day, his legacy of innovation in creating an ICHD, the University Affiliated Centers, the President's Council remains today one of the great histories of our country. But beyond the work he did for people with intellectual disabilities, I believe it was Rosemary's influence <clears throat> that centralized him and all of us to the gifts, to the gifts of vulnerable and, and weak people. I think I can say that not one among the thousands who have written about him has understood what it was really like to be a brother of a person who has mental retardation. And tonight I want to say that, <clears throat> that I've never said before, more than any single individual, Rosemary had the greatest influence. So tonight, with great gratitude to Jack, and also to my wonderful sons and daughters, <clears throat> first I wish to each of you the love of a family. And if that isn't possible, the love of a family who will treat you like a family, because there is no 
love substitute for love. Everything else doesn't matter. If you haven't got a family, go find one. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, secondly, I wish each of you the gift of being able to channel whatever injustice, anger, or frustration you have to a mission change. You can do it. The only person you can convince is yourself. And finally, I want to offer you the chance to play or go to school or be friends with one of the 200 million people on Earth who have an intellectual disability. I guarantee you that you will never go back. Who knows, you may even become pre future president of the United States. So thank you for the evening. Thank you for enforcing for me the power of faith, hope, and love. I have always believed these to be the most important gifts of all. I hope that many of you will join in my special mission to make what? The world safe for people with intellectual disability and to make the world safe for human dignity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.